two kills over towards this Aatrox, he can very quickly close the gap and make sure that this Jace has a really bad time. And Sword Art actually going to opt once you see the Nautilus. XX is like, you can have the blue buff, mate. I'm going to take a dragon. Uh, honestly, for Sunni, what you said that gold. Oh, depth charge onto Huan Fong. He has to use the arcane shift, but he knows he's going down here. It's all over for Huan Fong, and that is going to be first. You just killed Huan Fong. They had the man advantage. They had everything in their favor, deciding against it in the end here. And kind of an interesting one. When you consider that, you know, in Spring... Sword who can find these sneaky routes to close the gap, then Sunin can finish off the squishier members. So them is pretty much showing us right now to try and make a play towards mid, which is why Maple is hovering so far up in the river. He's scared. With all Maple and Chen Lun there, they should be able to drop that one themselves anyway. And Infernal Drake has now spawned onto the map. Roofed up in a very small area. I mean, look at the damage that they're already taking. XX moves in, SOFM a level ahead, and he gets the smite for himself. Into the back line, though. Here comes Sword Art, manages to get Haymaker, and walks away with his life as well. Death charge. <laughs> well, I'm just impressed that when you look at the scoreboard, there are two bounties right now. Big old shock blast to hit the back line right there. Then an SOFM stepping on forwards, trying to muscle their way into the fight. And I want you taking a huge amount of damage. Cataclysm from SOFM. And I told you it was all going to pop off. In goes Sword Art Haymaker. And it's a double for Huan Fong. Like desperately trying to get onto everybody. But SOFM survives. And that is going to be a one fight and a Drake for Sunin. Finally, we get some action. And Sunin will come out with their third Drake as a result. We talked about it. <laughs> well, no, but it's on the other side this time. Oh, it was sure, LNG sure. that were ahead of the so. That does actually make sense that when they win the fight, they get some gold. Uh, Look, I, I'm not entirely invested right. in this game. In a serious point, though, what is the blue buff doing? What? <laughs> Maple's blue buff has. I didn't know what's happening anymore, Dagda. Ah. Okay, well, we've got another fight on our hands, and this time SOFM's been caught out, and with a Baron available and with Chakrams for light. LNG are quite happy to just start this one off. Trundle going to be more than happy to tank this one as well. SOFM died, so there's no smite for the side of Suning. They've just got to go for a 4v5 here. Juan Fong all across the team. Iwandi goes down. Lights in trouble as Bin brings down his sword. And this is all about Suning. 4v5 and a Baron to boot. Again, LNG up to go for this play, but the engage from Suning is able to just turn it around. Juan Fong hitting so many gauges are coming through to just keep the ball rolling, jumping on, really struggling to have an impact on the game so far. Zero, two, and one. The same could be said for XX. And here's the thing: the two players I was saying need to be kind of the pillars of this team. They're the veterans. They're the ones that have been around here. Now we're going to see yet another fight. The Baron, they don't want to siege. They just want to play right now. Sooning get another tower, another kill. And now on towards an inhibitor. Drake spawns. Sooning already on soul point. If they can get an infernal soul for themselves, that'll just about put the final nail in the coffin here for the side of LNG. And they're going to continue this siege. They're going to look towards this mid lane inhibitor. XX not up for another 10 seconds. And with three barrened up cannons on the go, as well as Huan Fong, you'd expect this inhib to fall any second now. So fantastic little siege here. Coming out from Sooning. Be careful if they're taking the fight, but I don't think they mind. <laughs> I think yeah. they're all right. SFM going to block the Paddle Star here. Iwandi's gone too deep again. Flashes away, and there's a Cataclysm to block everyone in. Iwandi holding them at bay. But SOFM is pretty tanky. Trades one for one now as Bin goes in on two lights. Won't be able to finish off the third Q. Flash away from light, but I don't think he was actually in danger there. One for one. As you rightly say, Sooning hadn't back, so they're happy to take that trade as well as a tower. Now more fighting as Sword Art goes in. Stun onto two of them. He goes down for his efforts, though. But it will surely mean that this inhibitor falls. Huan Fong should be able to finish this one along with Bin and Angel. And you know what? Even if LNG Greatest gets a couple... Greatest I've ever seen from one Fong there. <laughs> Just misses everybody. That will be the Infernal Drake. So now... Well, they don't really have a lane to play around at this point because we're past the laning phase. And uh, here with that Death Dance, with the Blade of the Rune King as well. Baron incredibly low. They are going to burn that one down. Iwandi's gone in. He might regret that decision now. XX trying to get onto the back line as well. But the support falls, and nobody from LNG pulls the trigger to go in with him. Sleepy Trouble Bubble onto Huan Fung, but realistically, 
There's just no follow-up here. Good shot blast. Definitely. When you look at the compositions, Jace is going to do real well if we go super late game. So is Aphelios. And we've got some damage going down onto SOFM, who is in a permanent state of caught out. But the siege continues in the top lane, and Vin just going to barrel these minions into the mid lane. Pressure in every lane with this Baron buff. This might just be two inhibitors dropping LNG. They've got to make a play somewhere. Huan Fung's the target. Maple barely surviving here. Iwandi desperate to get in. Look at the healing on Huan Fung, though. With double lifesteal items, he's just about invincible. Sword Art goes in. Iwandi goes down. Now in comes Bin as well as they finish off this second inhibitor. The bot lane inhibitor has respawned, but I think Suning maybe have their eyes on the Nexus. No, they want to do things by the book. Well, you need to get the minions here first. Might as well get them in all three lanes. And Suni should just be able to push in here, especially when you've got Iwandi down. It's a four versus five. It certainly is. And well, with a Baron buff, with supers, and with Bin charging forwards, Maple's in trouble and flashes onto the Nexus. As the, uh, the turrets will fall on down, this is going to be the end of the game. Light gets deleted. So does Maple. You've got to come back from that one, my friend. And Sword Art just chases everybody else away. There goes the Nexus, and there goes game one in favor of Sunni.